actually a very interesting match with a deck that you've never seen before. I've never seen this deck before, so I'm actually really interested to see how this goes. It's IG88, the red black card. I believe he gives plus one HP, plus one uh, defense uh, is what he does. So it's very interesting. I've never seen it. But this is basically the first round in the tournament, so I was just gonna see how did it go. Very interesting deck with a unique uh, base as well. It's actually a yellow base, a cunning base. So you get red, black, yellow, not red, black, green, which is interesting. I would assume with something that gives your units plus one, green has so many strong small units. And also you get a Darth Vader as well, late game. It's very interesting that he went for the yellow base. But as you can see, the Boba Fett uh, is just a green Boba Fett. Something probably you're going to see a lot more from now on. You need to start building your deck against green Boba Fett. They start the game both together. I'm actually not sure what these units are. <laughs> I know this is a Viper, I believe. No, that's not even a Viper either. This is just some yellow units I've never seen before. I don't know what yellow does. But strong start there. IG8 is showing uh, that he can actually compete against these aggressive decks. Able to drop two units. But as you can see, this is the same card as this. I'm actually not sure what that is. I'm actually not sure. I know you guys, the, the, you guys, professional yellow players, you know what this is. I'm actually not sure. So, trades here with his other card. Oh, that's the red card that they do this. I guess it's a 1-2. He goes ahead and plays a fifth brother. Okay, that's a big play here. Boba Fett hasn't used up any resources. He can do a lot here to counter that fifth brother. I see a overwhelming barrage, so he does need a couple of turns. I think a super laser is what he needs here, if he can get that off. There it is, super laser is perfect. Perfect turn here for the Poba Fed, because he's not taking a lot of damage. There it is. Uh, I still don't know what that is. I guess it's a... So, oh, I know what this red card was. This red card has zero power and four uh, or two, H two to three HP, I think. And what it does is when it attacks, it raids three or four, I believe. I remember this card. Uh, so it gets raid three, I think, or raid four. Uh, that's what it's strong. So that's why he didn't take any damage. He just killed it because it's at zero HP or zero power. Looks like uh, the IG-88 was able to do the first bit of damage to the ECL. As you can see, the ECL has much less power uh, and defensive power than the, the yellow base. So we'll see how this pays off for the IG-88 player. Let's see if Craig... Um, is going to be able to pull it off. I can see a little bit of his hand on the top. I see, I think that's a sister. So he has the brother. I think it's that's an either a sister. Oh, no, no, it's a Veers. It's a general Veers. Let's see if he plays out that general Veers. It's really good here because he could use it with his friend, the fifth brother, making it a huge uh, card, actually. Let's see if it can pay off for him. Um... Okay, adds a lightsaber underneath the force unit, but does not get the one played effect. So it just gives the plus three, plus one, I believe. If Craig, if Daniel can kill this right now, then uh, Craig basically just loses a saber and a fifth brother. Unfortunately, Daniel doesn't have the power to kill it. So he just leaves some damage on it and gets the ability off the super laser. Uh, so Fifth Brother is actually going to be able to attack. That's going to be a lot of damage because he has four damage on him plus the three. So that's seven plus the two. That's nine damage right there on the Boba Fett. I believe that's nine damage. Unfortunately, there is no counters, but I think that's nine damage on the Boba Fett and... If he had 3 damage before, so he's at 11 or 12 right now. So already at half his HP. Really nice to see. But he can pull out that Boba Fett. Or also IG-88 has used up a lot of the resources. So this is a good 
turn for Boba Fett to counter, but he doesn't want to take a lot of damage. Ooh, drops down a tie LN. Now, I really like this deck, guys. Very aggressive. IG-88 is doing a lot. Once he gets some damage on one side, now he's uh, supplementing his damage on the other side, forcing the opponent to kind of uh, 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 divide his focus and allowing strategy to be much stronger. Let's see. But the problem is Bofa has so much resources right now. He could do so much work. And there it is. Overwhelming Barrage onto the Boba Fett clears board. Absolutely amazing play. We did see the overwhelming barrage and he set up for it. He set up for it guys Really nice play guys. Oh my god. That's amazing. We just lost our whole board. That's amazing That was very scary That was very scary. I can't believe that uh, IG88 actually has no access to the overwhelming barrage So this is showing you guys the power of the green in mid game Also the early game is just so strong because you don't Feel bad for losing the super lasers. It just it doesn't feel bad at all. Our IG88 is kind of stuck. Uh, no resources. No way to actually advance himself forward. Boba gains those two resources up. Can make one more play before he got, uh, ends turn. Let's see if he wants to drop anything. No, he just passes with two up. And draws into another super laser. Does he go ahead and put the super laser down? I believe he shouldn't. Because if he can get one more, I mean, he's so far ahead that he could drop down a super laser and still, and, and basically set himself up for the future so he doesn't ever have to drop any more cards down. Yeah, he does put the super laser down. That's what I expected. No, no, he kept the super laser. That's really good. Okay, he kept the super laser in the hand. Let's see if he plays it out. This is really good. IG-88 is basically going to be at 6. At the same time, Craig is going to be at 9 or 8. That's huge. All right, we started the game. The glare is in the way, but uh, it is three mm, resources. Not sure what that card is. Is that a Veers? Yeah, that's a Veers. Easy, easy counter here for the Boba. Unfortunately, IG-88 just does not have power. I think Boba should just start uh, focus on clearing board. Now, if IG-88 comes out, he can just put so much uh, power around on his units, especially with the Veers giving more of his units more power. Um... You could just stack this up. Uh, now everybody gets plus one, I think, HP. So this is really bad. Boba Fett should be clearing boards. He should not be playing stuff on the side. Yeah, okay, there we go. Finally cleared the board a little bit. IG-8 is going to come out. Unfortunately, Craig's deck just doesn't have a, a way to gain resources. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't play any mission briefings or... Or for surrenders, those are really good cards in red that you should be using if you want to uh, kind of force your opponent to, if you want to get ahead of your opponent, especially if you're really strong as an aggro deck, why are you not running for surrender mid game? Uh, you already have a bunch of units on the board, you already countered Sabine really well, you put a lot of damage down, uh, you can pull out your, your, your leader now, so why don't you just force surrender, that's such a strong play there. And the opponent usually has two to three cards, and he just has to drop his whole hand out. And you force him to start top decking. That's really a big switch in momentum. I think if we were able to drop in mission briefings or four surrenders, because as you can see, IG-88 already emptied his hand. Boba Fett is responding really strong, immediately going for the IG-88 with as much damage as he possibly can. Oh, actually, no. What happened was IG-88 just dropped a unit uh sorry attacked into the boba fett just to leave some uh damage uh, unfortunately that's showing you the ig88 is kind of uh desperate here because what he wants to do is attack it to the base he doesn't want to attack it to the units but he's going to have to attack into the boba fett because he's desperate he has such a small hand where's the four surrenders where's your mission briefings you're so fast you're so strong you you need those cars to get ahead Unfortunately, here the tides are gonna switch so quickly. Whoa, there's something interesting I noticed. Also, Daniel did not play down the super laser, so it's still in his hand. I wonder if he already uh, resourced it. I w See, that's what I'm telling you guys. I think the, the best super laser, once, once you're out of five or six resources, it just becomes really hard for you to play it. So, guys, you have to try to draw into them as soon as possible and play them out as soon as possible or you're never going to be able to take advantage of their utility. Uh, I don't know if you have to show your hand. I don't believe you have to. So, 
Sorry guys, uh, it's gonna be a, a small ad. <laughs> gotta pay for the for the video. Thankfully, they did not um, they did not allow us to pay for this, so we don't have to pay to watch this like other channels would maybe force you to subscribe. So thankfully, we don't have to subscribe, but we have to make them some money with these ads. So bear with me guys, just 30 more seconds. Really exciting game there. IG88 is doing a lot of work. Really nice to see IG88 performing uh, at this tournament. As you can see guys, it is the first round of the tournament. So maybe this is an untested IG88. Maybe this is an IG88 that actually already struggles versus met the deck. But from what I've seen, it was extremely fast. It did a lot of damage on the bow, but he just was not able to keep up. Once Bobo was able to take a little bit of control over the board, he just kept that control. So let's go back and watch what's happening. Dropping down his hand. Unfortunately, it looks like we don't have any options except that Boba Fett. We have to play the Boba Fett with the Darth Vader or the Shore Trooper. We don't have any other options. So Boba Fett obviously is a great option here. I don't believe... Uh, I'm surprised that Craig is acting or Daniel is acting like he's never... <laughs> played Darth Vader before <laughs> if this is true <laughs> this is hilarious guys but I'm still really happy to see this tournament get so many players and we're also really happy to see these this variety of decks so let's keep track of this uh oh unfortunately Daniel there mis misread his card and he shuffled his whole deck he shouldn't have done that what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to shuffle the bottom 10 and then put them on the bottom and put your deck on top. So as you can see there, there was a mistake that we just made. Unfortunate. But it's okay, guys. The guys are... I, you can tell he actually played Darth Vader for the first time today. <laughs> so, so, guys, uh, that's another sign that maybe we shouldn't be too worried that the Boba Fett was all of top 8. Maybe it's just... The, 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 the players that had Boba Fett just had more experience than the other players. So, guys... That's a good sign, actually. Let's see how Daniel wants to move forwards from here. He does have full control over the board. Craig is kind of stuck with only two cards. Whatever he top decks is what he's going to play. So there's really not a lot of options for him. You know what's uh, an interesting card for Craig? Is maybe I am your father. At least allows him to either deal damage for very cheap. Or get back some card advantage. So it actually... I think works really well with this deck because you you're okay with dealing the damage But and you're also okay with drawing the three It really doesn't matter for you taking the damage really basically removes a big Darth Vader that you would have never been able to remove or You draw the three so you because your hands are always so small actually I am your father I believe is would be very interesting in an IG-88 deck uh, As you can tell I, I am your father is a little bit wonky uh, it's not being played in a lot of the top decks, but I think IG-88 can really take advantage of it because he does like that draw three for such a cheap cost of three because he doesn't have a lot of resources usually. Right now, IG-88 cannot resource because all he has is two cards every time. And if he re resources one card, basically he cannot play the game because he would have to play with only one card. So very interesting idea there if you guys want to test that out. But as you can tell... IG-88 is suffering heavy. Boba just seems so healthy. Having the access to green is just uh, proving to be very interesting and very powerful. Because it, seems, it just seems like a strong color that a lot of people cannot catch up with. Has the resources to fill up your uh, board. Has the resources to fill up your resources. Has the resources to draw. Has the resources to attack quickly with ambush. You do get that ECL ambush as well. It's just so much power with the with the Boba Fett mid game uh, strength. You can tell uh, it's it's so clear that IG88 is in big suffering right now, uh, especially at the. I don't think IG88 is a deck that likes to top deck. So for example, uh, Vader, late game maybe sometimes doesn't care about top decks because everything in his deck uh, late game is insane and is playable, whereas. IG-88, I think, is suffering now because all his units are just small. They don't really satisfy uh, for in the mid or late game. And so just playing one of those small units is just not enough. Whereas if he could have, for example, played one Darth Vader, that would have made so such a big impact on the board. 
So I think IG-88 does have huge potential. I think we do want to try it with different colors. But very interesting to see it. Interesting uh, idea. And yeah. Boba Fett here is going to finish the game probably very soon. He's just building a board that, uh, to be honest with you, IG-88 has no way to respond to. IG-88 has no access to anything. I guess IG-88 can exhaust the board for one turn. That's interesting. Maybe that's what IG-88 wants to do. He wants to uh, maybe force Boba Fett. Hey, 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 Boba Fett, don't worry about my creatures. Just attack it to my base. And then for one turn... Uh, after he filled up a board, now he can just en uh, exhaust everything and just deal so much damage to the Boba Fett. Maybe that's the plan. We shall see. It just seems like Boba Fett is just non-stop recovery mode, non-stop sustainability. Every time uh, Craig plays something out, Daniel just responds to it so quickly. We have no answers right now as Craig. We just take initiative and pass. And I believe here Boba Fett is done. He's just going to go ahead and pass. Oh, Daniel's excited, guys. You could tell he's very happy. <laughs> he's gonna, his deck is working for him much better than how RG88's deck is working. Really nice. Really nice to see this, guys. But Boba Fett is just too strong, too fast. And actually took control of the whole game. Let's see how our friend Craig can... Let's see if he can respond in any way. He gives minus 4 HP damage. Oh my god, I thought he had the strong big yellow base. Turns out it's the yellow base that with 25 HP that uh, just removes minus 4 damage from one unit. So... This is actually very scary. IG-88 is actually weaker than I thought. I thought IG-88 was already strong at 30 HP base. This is going to change the game. Wait, 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 wait. Why did we just heal with the consortium? You don't have initiative. I think we just healed for some reason. <laughs> We're making mistakes. Where's the judge? I mean, I don't think it's going to change the game on ig 88 side. He just is not able to drop any units down. And any units that's dropped down is immediately responded to. At this point now, Boba Fett doesn't even want to play any resources from his hand now. He just plays the hand down. If, if Boba Fett just plays his hand down, it ends game. Oh, there it is. Somebody fixed that. Told him, do not heal. Because you do not have the initiative, thank God. So thank God, Judge, he heard me. <laughs> he heard me from the video. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see how we're going to respond here. It's not going to change anything, guys. It's really not going to change anything. Greg is in big trouble. He is already at 14 damage on a 25 HP base. And he's about to take, what, 8 more damage? This is very scary. Only one more card in hand. I think Craig loses in two turns, in one turn, in one phase, may I say, because of what this game is. Boba Fett is just going to attack with everything, then drop his whole hand down. And then how are we going to respond to it as, as a red IG-88? You cannot. IG-88 has run out of complete steam here, guys. <laughs> no pun intended, because <laughs> he's a robot, get it? <laughs> anyways, anyways, back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. Sorry, guys. That was uh, weird. Anyways. Come on, man. Just attack. <laughs> Daniel here is just mess playing with his food now. Sorry, sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to harass the IG-88 player. I really like the idea of the IG-88. But... Don't you guys agree with me? I think I Am Your Father would make this deck so much stronger. Because then you can deal with his big units that he's dropping late game as a Boba Fett. Or draw three and for such a cheap cost because you don't have a lot of resources. I think actually IG-88, I call me daddy, or as, as the layman's simpletons would say, I am your father. That the card is actually made for IG-88, I actually believe that. Come on, Craig, stop playing with your food. 
But actually, this is something interesting about Star Wars, is no matter how the opponent looks like he's about to lose, honestly, he they could switch it with one card. Like, like I've seen a, I've seen a really well timed Avenger that changes games. Literally, Craig, for the past five ter phases, he's he's played twice and he could, took initiative. He just cannot catch up. IG8, it finally surrenders. He's like, man, this game is just not fun. <laughs> I don't like Star Wars Unlimited. <laughs> Let's go back to Destiny. Poor guy, man. Honestly, I get I get how IG8 it feels. He just when you run out of steam, when you run out of resources in a game that does not allow you to get any more resources except from the top of your deck. When you don't have any life, when you don't have shields to every time you get attacked, you gain a little bit of resources. It just does not become fun anymore to just keep top decking your yourself and, and hoping to God you got what you want. So I see three force chokes, so the, nobody's shuffling this deck. And if somebody shuffled this deck, why are we not just sending it back? There's the three force chokes in hand. Wait, how many cards did we draw? There's like, I see seven cards. No, no, it's, it's six. Oh my God, he just put two force chokes down. The problem is force choke is actually a really strong card against the Boba Fett. Because it takes out his three cost Boba Fett. So why would you put two of it down? That sucks. We're gonna play a death death uh, stone trooper. The one cost. At least, guys, you can notice that Boba Fett's playing everything on ground early. Doesn't really go for space early, so it's it allows us to kind of figure out: Do we want to? Are we gonna be able to deal with him? Or not, and it allows you to like s slow down in the deck building process. You don't have to drop so many space units. You, you actually opens up so much space for you to do other things uh, and and have different strategies. Uh, now, I'm not gonna lie, Sabine does go to space, but most of the other aggro decks that I've seen are forced to play from the ground, and they only play one or two space units. And so it's really nice to know that because now as a control -E deck, you know you can open up, uh, you have so much space, you don't have to drop so many units. We used to drop uh, 10 space units, now we can actually play the whole game with maybe 6 to 8 space units. You know what I mean? You don't even actually need that many space units. It opens up the game for more of your favorite uh, mid-game stuff. And it's really nice. So let's see how we start the game there. We play that uh, home. Oh, there it is. That's the ship I'm talking about. I think that's one of his only plays from space. I think he has also one more play, but it's really fast. Buffett already got on space very early, earlier than his IG-88 opponent. Let's see if that pays off for the Boba Fett. Also, he was able to exhaust that Death Storm Trooper. Doesn't take any damage from it. Really smart idea there. Uh, whereas, but he does take damage from the cunning. He doesn't take damage. Oh no, he does take damage. Cunning could have t removed the shield, but instead he actually just went for the base. I think that's four damage. It's a smart idea. And then the stormtrooper is exploded out. Smart. That's what you need to do. Boba Fett, if he is able to play something out, this is big. This is big. All right, we just play. Um, um, somebody tell me what that unit is. I still don't know what it is. It's a. It's a. It's a red, it's a, oh, it's a Geeko, the Greco, the one cost three, one. That's what it is. The one cost three, one when defeated. Okay, now I know what that is. That's why he always uh, swipes only one card. Okay, that's really strong. That's really strong. He has his perfect board. The thing about IG-88 is literally he's playing his perfect board every single game. Every single game he's getting his the board that he likes to get out early. But for some reason, he's just running out of resources from his hand. I'm, I'm surprised that he never actually put any force surrenders, any I'm your call me daddies, any, any even mission briefings. Mission briefings are so smart in his deck. You get two cards for three costs. So smart. Especially in a deck that has zero resource control. Oh, so slow. But also, you guys look at the Boba Fett side now. This is a game that he doesn't play any super lasers. Is he going to be able to drop that super laser or is that too late? I think he can ECL the super laser, so it's not super late. 
I think he ECLs it. No, he doesn't ECL it. This is a big mistake, I believe. He could have taken out the Greco. Now Greco is going to deal three damage to the base, and he didn't have to take that damage. It's it's it, it, there's no other real huge priority that I can see here. And, and also, you would have gotten an extra resource. That means if Boba Fett. Uh, activates you get three cards now to play with you could have played another ca card This is a very big mistake from the Boba Fett player guys not to ECL his his, his unit He could have do dropped down a star viper He could have played it in a way to drop down the star viper guys think think about it He ECLs into the Greco he, does, he removes the Greco with one HP He removes the uh, the worry of, of taking that three damage and then uh, also gets that one resource and then he can activate his Boba Fett to gain another resource and then he can play down the Consortium Star Viper, have full control over space and now Boba Fett comes out in one turn because Super Laser is already in his uh, mana and uh, so he's he's so happy. He's gonna gain back control over a ground and he has full control over space and Star Viper is healing him and I don't think IG-88 can come back from that. I, I have not seen IG88's willingness or even ability to control space in any way besides maybe one uh, one interceptor or or one shielded uh, two cost space unit you know what i'm talking about guys the yellow yellow space unit i forget what it's called so this is very interesting we're playing that raid one cost down so let's see star viper is going to go ahead and trade or sorry not star viper the super laser okay boba fett is active so, unfortunately, we don't have control over space as much as we wanted, though. And Greco is still alive. Are you telling me now we just allowed Greco to do six damage to us? Why? Why? Why did we let Greco do six damage to us? And why was the unit on the side more value than Greco? Why didn't we get, take the Greco out? He's 3 1 with the super laser. Daniel's not making the 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 common the, the what do I want to say the common sense decisions. Uh, it's it's very interesting to see these guys play. I, it feels like they're playing for the first time. I'm not trying to call any anything bad out here, but it really does feel like this is one of their first games with these decks. <laughs> But let's see. Let's see how this uh, works out here. Already, Boba Fett is out. Greco. Okay, there it is. Not uh, Force Choke is amazing. This is the card he needs to deal with uh, Boba Fett for. Unfortunately, he does get that draw. But it's nice to leave that damage. Now, Greco can just uh, remove Boba Fett from board. Or if Boba Fett thinks about trading. Oh, actually, Boba Fett is a really genius idea here. He could attack into that unit on the side. This unit right here that has zero uh, power. It's, it's raid four, I think. Oh. Okay, just play Boba Fett. I don't even understand this idea. Why would we play Boba Fett there, guys? Like, we had time to play Boba Fett, right? Like, why would we take Greco's attack? Oh, my God. <sighs> Plus, we could... Not, like, okay, think about it with me, guys. Boba Fett, if he attacks into this... If, if Greco attacked into... Uh, okay, obviously, we both made mistakes. Daniel made a mistake by not attacking... Instead dropping Fett, because now he's not even attacking with Fett. He, he had time to drop the Fett, guys. He didn't have to drop it right there. He should have attacked with Boba Fett into the zero uh, power guy. And then the Greco should have traded with this. And that would have been insane value for the Boba Fett because he got rid of two boards. And then he can go for the Fett later. He doesn't need to drop the Fett. Ugh. I'm surprised Greco did not just take out the Boba Fett to keep his other unit alive. This is re very weird. But now Greco has added, what now, 12 damage onto this ECL? <laughs> it's a crazy number. It's absolutely an insane number, guys. I'm scared <laughs> for the Boba Fett. I actually think Boba Fett might lose this game. IG-88 has not come out yet, guys. There it is. IG-88 is out. Unfortunately, I don't think he's that strong. Except if he gives every single one of his units plus one, plus zero, plus one. That's huge. So we attack into base. So IG-88 is just attacking into base. Doesn't care about Boba Fett. Whereas Boba Fett is trying to slow down IG-88. I think Boba Fett is losing control, guys. He doesn't even know what to do.
I think both is losing control. It seems like both is losing control. Okay, it amazing draw there. He drew into the star uh, Darth Vader. That's gonna give him everything he needs. Oh my God! Imagine he didn't draw into the Darth Vader. He would have literally been stuck, guys. I'm not joking. He would have literally been stuck. That's crazy. That's amazing. He drew into the Darth Vader. All right, guys, we have an ad here. It's going to be a minute. So let me talk to, you, talk to you guys a little bit about this matchup. Very interesting matchup. IG88 is doing a lot of work. We're going to very quickly show you guys what IG88 does. But IG88 is something we've never seen before. So it's really exciting to see uh, this leader in the tournament. Now, I am telling you guys, maybe there are different strategies you can add. But the IG88 is very interesting. What he does here is each friendly unit gains raid one. So actually he gives plus one, plus one, zero, not plus zero, plus one. I thought he gives plus zero, plus one. Turns out he gives plus one, plus zero. He comes out really early, but Craig waited a couple of turns. He's only a five cost. And uh, attack with the unit. And his hero ability says attack with the unit. If you control more units than the defending player, the attacker gets plus one plus zero really interesting idea you can attack with units give them plus one and deal damage and it gives you the black ability so you have such amazing cards guys like for example you could do something like uh what is this All right, let's go look for, yeah, villainy, right? Black. So in black, you can play I am your father. Deal seven damage to an enemy unit unless its controller says no. If they do draw three cards. Really nice card here, I think, for the deck. Able to deal seven damage, get rid of that Boba Fett anytime you want. And obviously, he's not going to want to do that. So he's going to give you three cards. Such a small, cheap cost. And you get three cards and you don't have to worry about only top decking now. Really interesting idea. But yeah, guys, let's just uh, jump right back to the action. We see here IG-88 attacking with one of his units. And this wasn't able to restand, I believe. I believe Boba Fett sh uh, shut this down, exhausted it. Immediately IG-88 attacks. Darth Vader is the first thing that drops. Now, the thing is, I think Daniel... Is actually really, really hurt right now. Okay, Daniel is, is making this really wrong. Darth Vader does not show his hand, the top deck, to anybody. And now hopefully he doesn't make a mistake with this reshuffling. Because last time he reshuffled his whole deck. This is what I'm telling you guys. I, I'm not really sure these guys actually played this game before. <laughs> Anyways. Somebody told him, thankfully. Thankfully. He almost picked up his hand. Thank God somebody saw that. Somebody called the judge on him. All right, good. No, he put it on the top. He put it on... Did he just put it on top? Oh, my God. Oh my god, he actually is going to put it on top. No, he put it on bottom. Sorry, sorry. I thought he put it on top. Okay. Anyways, back to the game. Darth Vader ambush huge. IG-88 just lost control of this whole game. Darth Vader literally eats IG-88 up. IG-88 just has to win the game before Darth Vader comes out or he loses every single time. IG-88 is very fast, guys. This is a serious deck.
Daniel has uh, is seeing <laughs> the the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Sort of speak, it seems like he's running out of hope. Let's see if he can actually deal enough damage. That's actually a lot of damage. <sighs> oh, oh, Daniel is stuck here. Oh, no. I don't think Daniel can take all that damage out. I think Dam uh, Daniel loses in one turn. It doesn't seem like Daniel can take... Any more hits from anything on that side? Okay, we deal three more damage, so that's five. So now we... Oh no, that's only two. He can't do anything, he just takes the initiative. Oh, he gets minus four. Oh my god, this is huge. This is huge. I think, I think, I think Boba Fett just lost. He gave minus four to the Boba Fett. Boba Fett can't attack now. It's zero. This is why you don't want to wait two hours to attack. This is why you don't attack with your ship before you attack with the Boba Fett. What is this, man? Daniel made every single mistake he could make in that turn. That minus four was huge. I can't believe it. I think Daniel loses here. I, I don't know why they didn't leave a counter of, of, of HP. We don't even know what their HPs are. Yeah, there it is. Craig just passed his turn. Loses the game. Craig just likes us to... commentate his games that's all it is he wants us to commentate the game more honestly craig made many many mistakes that forced him to go down and lose that game craig, craig can do much better next oh sorry not craig sorry daniel daniel made many many mistakes forced him to lose that game from getting ahead really really far ahead and then start focusing on space for some reason i don't even know why he was going to space Stop worrying about space. Take control of the ground. It was so clear. Space was already taken care of. Instead, he wanted to stay focused on space for some reason. Dropping the Boba Fett. Attacking with Boba Fett first. Instead of attacking with his ground units and clearing out some ground units. Just so, so unfortunate here. Another perfect start for IG-88. Every single game made the start. Starting with those two units. 1-1. One, one, Greco and the other unit that has Raid 4. But zero power. Okay, already this is signaling, Boba, if I was Boba Fett, this is signaling to me, I'm ECLing into Greco my super laser, if I have super laser. Unfortunately, Boba Fett is drawing a lot of air units, space units. Okay, looks like we're starting with the shield really strong there. Oh, such a strong unit that two cost yellow that gives you shield. Allows you to trade with anything on board. Oh, so helpful. I wish red had something like that. I guess all we get is the death trooper. Death storm trooper. Death star storm trooper. Uh oh, IG-88 is actually advancing very fast. I think we're losing control. Oh my god, that Boba Fett is huge. I didn't see that in the hand. I thought we are going to be forced to go into space, but that Boba Fett is huge. That's exactly what we needed. IG-88 gives 4 damage. That's actually a wrong big mistake. Usually he goes for that uh, ECL there. I guess he recognized I need to slow down this dude. I don't want him to just eat my board. Alright. Daniel takes initiative and we pass. So Boba Fett is going to be acting first here. We could still ECL into a lot of things here. Let's see if Daniel is going to take advantage of ECL. For the last three, two games, he has not taken advantage of ECL once. I think he doesn't rec understand that he needs to use it as fast as possible. You don't have to take, you don't have to take uh, six, seven turns. You can actually play in two turns, still gain insane value from it. I think he's just too scared to use it. I don't think he's ever used it this game. All right, Daniel, how are you going to deal with this? Immediately starts with the Boba Fett. I 
I don't even know what just happened there. I have no idea what happened. I don't know why they took their units out. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a misplay there. Oh, unless he attacked, actually. Then that, Unless he attacked, then his play was to just draw? I don't know. Wow, Interceptor, perfect timing. That's what you get for trying to take advantage and, and get, get a hold of space early against red. You cannot. You cannot try to control space early with a Star Viper. You have to control space early with a Sentinel. You have to control space early with anything else, but you can't start with a Star Viper there. You lose it immediately against red. You cannot deal with red. Their, their space control is insane. Red has such strong space control, small space units can take out big space units. Like, the Interceptor is insane. It, it does 3 damage and you can ECL it. And it does another 3 damage. So it takes out anything 6 damage in space. It's freaking huge. For 4, that's insane. The space units for red is just too strong. You need, you need to slow down. Did you watch Vancouver Regional Day 1? Uh, that We're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to do that tomorrow for the Pokemon thing. Today we're doing Star Wars. Unfortunately, man, I just I wish I, I just didn't have the time. All right, Steadfast Battalion gets ECL. Yes, Steadfast Battalion gets ECL. I guess that's his best play there to ECL as Steadfast Battalion at 7 HP. Make it a 7 7. That's Vic's favorite play there. Make it a 7 7 and attack because you have a leader. It's huge. Death Storm Trooper is on board. Boba Fett is going to gain resources, but I don't think he's going to be able to play. Might as well just take initiative, by brother. Oh, oh, he can actually play himself. I forgot he's a five cost. I thought he was a sixth. He only pulled him out at six, so I actually forgot that he was five. All right, we take four, da three damage from the Interceptor. As you guys can see, Super Laser just are so wonky that when you, if you don't play them turn to two or three, you just don't want to play them at all anymore. I guess in, uh, at least in Boba Fett. I still see value in, in you playing them in Bo uh, out. Because, I mean, especially against IG-88. I mean, he has no way to gain resources. So if you can super laser once or twice and resupply once as well. I mean, you're so far ahead. Now you don't even have to drop units and resources. You just keep drawing. Wasn't a 7-7 seven, seven unless leader was out. Oh my god, so he was 5-5. Five, five. Why the hell did Daniel make that play then? I thought that Boba Fett was the leader of Boba Fett. That's why I was surprised when the other Boba Fett came out. <laughs> the leader of Boba Fett actually came out. So I was a little bit weird. <laughs> I got confused, guys. But yeah, yeah, that's true. There was no leader. So that was just a 5-5. Five, five. What a weak attack. Excuse me, sorry. All right. We pass. I think we just uh, put in su uh, Super Laser, unfortunately. Makes sense though, IG-88 is just so fast guys. I think IG-88 has a Saber Laser underneath him that gives him plus 3 plus 1. Nice start there, getting him sideways. That's really important guys. Because he was going to attack for a lot of damage. But what is that, 8? Easily? Or 9? That's just huge. Minus 4 on the Boba Fett. That both fits completely useless, but it takes out the Steadfast. Steadfast is dead. Imagine trading a Steadfast into a Darth Vader instead of just attacking into... I guess you still deal the damage. You still deal 4 damage to the base. Does he Does he remember to call out the 4 damage? Let me check. Yeah, he does, right? Yeah. There it is. Interceptor is attacking for 4. Oh, sorry. 3. Both fit attacks for 0. No, you just gave him minus four. Thank God they remembered. Thank God. Thank God they remembered. Daniel takes that playback. He shouldn't have taken that playback. Okay, he, he the, his opponent allows it. Okay, fair. He should have just taken that as a mistake. Everybody, the judge should have called that as a mistake. And, 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 and forced him not to take that playback. Unfortunately, he takes the playback. Oh my god, IG-88 is going to win the game because of all of Daniel's misplays. It's crazy. I can't believe this. No, they go to time. Mm. 
What just happened? It's going. Makes sense. I think, you know, that Boba does trade in. Asking, uh... It's shat. There. It's hell. Then, trading smugglers. How many cards left? I think it's just the one in hand for the Daniel. Daniel. I think it's nothing for Craig. I do think we'll see a little bit of a judge call happening over there just to ask what's going on. Yeah, I think, uh, a little discussion going on I at the table. I suspect they're asking... Uh, there's a shat, there. there's a handshake, I think. We'll get confirmation about whether it is indeed a tie game and essentially a... Daniel has won. Daniel has won. I think, honestly, the way that game was going makes sense. I think, you know, that Boba does trade into the IG-88 and at that point... Uh, oh, the hell did Daniel win? What are you talking about? They gave the win to Daniel? What? In what world or game state do you give this W to Daniel? He just lost his Boba Fett. What? The stormtrooper potentially. I no. think they are. They are just going to be entering a rush down game here to see who can just deal the most damage to the blast. This IG-88 is now oh, an 8-7. Oh, I get it. I get what happened. What happened was they got into a time and then they called time on them. So they start rushing whoever can deal more damage. Oh, I get it. Okay. That makes more sense. I thought they just were, Craig just passed uh, or, or gave up the game. All right, interesting first game. IG-88 is very fast, very interesting. Like the uh, Boba, obviously, is much better. But uh, I think there's a lot of misplays we could do and see much better games. So we'll, we'll check more games out, guys.